Um, this is just sad, man. It's it's sad that a young brother had to go like this. Um, uh, over something just stupid and dumb. Um, unfortunately, the uh, take off the group member from Migos got shot and killed in Houston over a dice game. Um, I think rumors were saying that I think they was losing in this dice game and they got mad and the guy shot and killed him or a guy shot and killed him. I haven't seen the video, so I don't know. Um, but this just shows you that we can't go anywhere without somebody hating. It's so many hate haters out here. And this is another reason why some – some t- a lot of times people that have money don't want to be in the hood. And this is a prime situation of that. You know what I'm saying? So you can't live, you can't have this um, gangster mentality wise. Like it's always going to be somebody that's more gangster, more street, more tougher than you. A dice game ain't worth all of that shit, man. You know it's going to be niggas out here hating. You got money. You don't have to be come around this shit. This is a prime example. You got to know better, man. You got to surround yourself in good environments, in good situations. This shit is crazy to me, man. You got motherfuckers out here hating so much to the point to where they want to shoot and kill you. The black community is fucking lost, man. They lost. It's too many rappers out here getting killed. And it's too many black people in general that's getting killed for no fucking reason. For the dumbest reason. Over a fucking dice game. Are you fucking serious? Niggas out here killing over a dice game? And this dude had a promising future. Everybody on Migos had a promising future. Hopefully Quavo is all right. God knows what, how take how uh um offset is feeling right now. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. You gotta be aware of your surroundings and who you being around, man. This is another example. This is the same shit that happened to Mo3. Pop Smoke, PNB Rock, Nipsey Hustle, just tragic shit, man. And you can't, the hood does not always love you. This is a perfect example of the hood don't love you. They hate you. When you making some money, they hate you. When you do dumb shit, it comes back to haunt you. You go back to certain areas where you shouldn't be in and you ain't allowed, then you come back. You can't deal with that. Just live your life. Be somewhere positive. Be in a positive mind frame and a positive area. Just because you stay in a suburb area or whatever does not mean you a sellout. You just, you have to think about your well-being and your safety. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You got too many rappers out here getting killed, man. Look at Chicago. It's constantly these niggas getting getting killed down there for dumb reasons. Shit going to keep happening. It's in St. Louis, Chicago, down here in Detroit, Atlanta. It's crazy. New York, L.A. It's crazy. It happens everywhere, man. It's, It's not safe. It's fucked up that you can't go anywhere without watching your fucking back to these dumbass niggas, man. What the fuck is we doing, man? Black people, what the fuck is we doing? Don't y'all know that this is what some of these white people want you to do? Is to kill each other, you stupid, dumb fucks. We can't get along with each other. We got to, oh, let's kill each other. Let's drug each other out. Let's do this. Why? Why are we doing this? I don't, I'm not trying to argue with some. You don't know how people day is. 
can't just argue with just anybody. They you don't know who has a gun, who 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 um who going through stuff. You can't do that, man. You gotta understand how people, but sometimes even understanding them, that can be suicidal. It's a lot of mental health motherfuckers out here, man. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of mentally health motherfuckers out here. And that shit is serious. Some of them is some of them is, is doing that for jokes and stuff like that. That's not mental health is not a playing matter. We got too many people out here with mental issues, and then you got a lot of them out here that's faking to have mental issues. Just so they'll just so, just so they won't go into jail or go to a hospital. Shit is crazy, man. You got um and definitely um prayers to all they to the families um to to all of them to all three of them man and this is just tragic man i'm just this is just sad this is just sad in the black community that the hate is fucking real out here man it's just not worth arguing and fight and disagreeing and all that like you could disagree that you can agree to disagree but fighting, pulling guns out and all that shit, man, that ain't worth it, man. It ain't all this shit is not worth you getting killed. You would have thought you would have thought this pandemic and COVID would have smart niggas up and it just made it even worse. This inflation has made people just get people not having jobs. It's made it worse. You got people out here just doing crazy shit because they can't find no job. And when you can't find no job, you do shit that you don't want to do to survive. That's what a lot of these dudes do. And women do that shit too. They be suffering too. But the way this brother just went out, man, it's just totally uncalled for. Totally uncalled for. And it never should have fucking happened. Never should have happened. But with black people, we just don't fucking learn. We just got to be around the shit. We got to always talk about shit. We got to always do dumb shit. We got to always get into everything, know everything. What kills me is people that's videotaping and shit like that. Why don't you do something about these issues instead of just automatically videotaping? Why don't you just do something about this shit while you videotape? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't see that. Everybody want to be a fucking news reporter. Everybody want to be a fucking news reporter. They want to know. They want to know everything. They want to see the action. They want to do this. They want to do that. Like, it's not worth it, man. It's it's just not worth it. But everybody want to be in everybody's business. I don't know why they just do. But like I said, man, prayers go out to take off. Prayers go out for Quavo, Offset, just everybody, man. All the rappers that didn't die. Everybody that didn't die. The prayers just go out, man, because this brother has. No reason why he should have left, man. Dice game, stupid. Um, these young brothers had promising careers, man. I don't know what their issue was and all that. It's it can't be as big as this, but shit is crazy. But then you know they just had an interview on Drink Champs. I don't know what it is about doing interviews with Drink Champs, but it seemed like the last few people that did it. Some negativity came upon upon that. I understand it. Then stop doing these Vlad TVs too, man. That's that's the feds right there too. Watch out for that. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for Vlad and all these Say Cheese TVs and all this, man. You got to watch yourself on that too. So, I don't know, man. I I, I just don't know. I don't know. Um, All we can do is pray. And just hopefully things get better. Hopefully these niggas wise up. Hopefully these bitches but wise up. <sighs> Cause it's too much. It's too much ghetto dumb shit out here, man. It's too much. It's way too much. And shit's gotta stop. It it just has to stop. Niggas got this much fucking heart. This fucking uh um. It's just niggas out here is too sensitive, man. They ain't men out here. They too sensitive. They act like bitches. They act like bitches. You get sensitive by everything. Can't talk about it. You can't even do beef songs. Niggas is killing each other on, on beef songs. 
because they can't take the heat. They don't like getting talked about. This generation of, of men don't like getting talked about. This generation of women don't like getting talked about. They like to talk about everybody else, but they don't like getting talked about. But yet, you in a situation that you don't want to be because you choose, then now you got to take somebody else's life because you don't like your life and you hate theirs. And they doing well. We got to stop all this hate. In the black community, man, we got to stop all this hate towards each other. It ain't worth it. Ain't worth getting killed for, bro. It's not worth it. But what do I know, man? I'm just talking, you know. But uh, tell me what y'all think about this situation with takeoff getting shot and killed, Quavo getting shot, stable condition. Um, hopefully, it don't be no retaliation and shit like that. Normally, it probably will be because somebody gonna find out who did it. Um. It's just the same. It's just like the whole shit. Like I said, with the Bo 3 and the Pop Smoke and Young Dolphin, Nipsey, and PNB Rock. Like, can't be in the hood, man. So it's some places you just cannot go. I understand you you don't wanna um you don't wanna live your life scared or anything like that, but you at the same time, man, you gotta You gotta be wise with your shit, bro. Shit ain't worth it. It just ain't worth it.